Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, African Hair Guide, and I'm finally here to do my highly requested, long-awaited tutorial on how to walk in high heels. So, I've been walking in high heels for about five months now. I'm not an expert, nor am I a model or anything like that. But, um, I do know how to walk in heels and look cute doing it. So, um, a lot of you have requested that I do a tutorial on this to help you along with walking in high heels. So, here it is. So, without further ado, let us go ahead and begin. Okay, so before we actually talk about how to walk in heels, ladies, we first need to learn how to stand in heels. When standing, it is important to have very good posture because your posture is going to help you maintain your sense of balance. So, when you're standing in heels, you want to maintain a straight back, keep your spinal cord straight, and you can kind of imagine as if someone attached a piece of string to the top of your head and hung you above the ground. That's how your back should be. You want to push your shoulders back just slightly uh, because your center of gravity is higher than it normally would be if you were wearing flat shoes and it's kind of pushed out a little bit more. So pushing your shoulders back kind of compensates for that alteration in your center of gravity. Hopefully this doesn't sound like physics class. And of course with balance comes engaging your lower abdomen, your core. So you want to engage your abs to help maintain your sense of balance in wearing high heel shoes. Also, when you're standing in high heel shoes, you want to keep your feet about shoulder width apart. You don't want it to be close together because you're more likely to kind of wobble, tip over, and fall. And you don't want to stand like this because it's not ladylike and it's just not cute. Alright, so now we're going to actually get started with the walk. When walking in heels, you want to stick to the golden rule of heel toe. But ladies, let's keep it very subtle, not over exaggerated. Watch as I demonstrate. I don't know if you got a good view of that, but definitely my heel is coming out first because when I'm stepping, my, I'm extending my leg completely at the knee and this is going to place my heel closer to the ground than my toe. So my heel is automatically going to hit the ground first. Okay. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that when wearing shoes, high heel shoes, you want to exaggerate most of your weight on the balls of your feet as opposed to the actual heels. Most women don't understand this because typically when we wear flats, most of our weight is on our heels and not the ball. So definitely keep that in mind. You want to kind of even out your weight, distribute it evenly along your foot, or exaggerate it more so on your heels. That's going to help you maintain your balance. Uh, one thing that I see a lot of women do is they try to place uh, both their balls on their feet and their toe on the ground at once, and it just looks really awkward and just really strange. Not ladylike and not um, Another thing I see people do sometimes is they do toe heel, like, you look like a horse. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I don't understand how that feels comfortable walking like Another thing I see a lot of women doing is they like to point their toes out like this and walk like a linebacker. <laughs> my cameraman is laughing at me so it should be very very simple a very uh, simple motion don't think too much about it just very subtle heel toe okay so I don't know if I mentioned this already I might have but uh, when you're walking and standing in heels you want to have a slight bend at the knee so a slight bend at the knee is going to basically give you more stability and help you maintain your sense of balance when you're walking. And you can definitely keep that slight bend as you're walking as well. You don't want to have your legs straight like this with your stiff thighs because you'll be walking all crazy like people will be looking at you like what in the world is she doing? When you're wearing high heel shoes, your legs are now pretty much elongated. These are five inch heels so my, feet, my heels are five inches off the ground than it normally would be. If I was wearing flat shoes, I would have longer strides, more intervals between my strides. Normally when I'm wearing flat shoes, my stride is about this width. As you can see, with heels, that looks very weird and very awkward. So with heels, you have to uh, take shorter strides to compensate for your new length in your legs. So what it comes down to it is about half the length 
uh, of my normal stride with wearing flat. Feet normally shoes. when you wear flat shoes, your feet go in front of itself. When you're walking in heels, you want your feet to go in front of your body, such as so. You don't want to walk with your feet going straight out because it looks a little weird and it doesn't look as feminine and pretty as it should be. So again, one foot in front of the other, in front, in the center of your body. And your hips are naturally going to move when you're walking, so you don't need to exaggerate the motion to make it look like real sexy. Just keep it very simple and very natural. I highly suggest if you get your new pair of high heel shoes that you wear them around the house, doing whatever, washing dishes, vacuuming the floors, folding clothes, doing your hair. Oh, Alicia said men think that's sexy. I wouldn't know anything about that, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you definitely need to practice, 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 and what better way to practice than in the comfort of your own home? So as you can see, walking heels, though it has a lot of mechanics and logistics behind it, it's actually pretty simple once you gain the concept of how to actually walk in these heels. So yeah, that's pretty much my tutorial. I hope that helps you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Until then, be blessed!